You know I see you. You think you're hiding, but you're not. Stuart, get back home. Stuart, you get back home now. Go on. Stuart, you go home. You be a good cow. Hey, this is Bill here with Jacoti Outdoor Recreation. Thanks for, uh, thanks for tuning in. I wanted to talk to you today about the P-38 and the P-51. It's also called the John Wayne. and You can usually tell what branch of service somebody was in by what they call it. P-38 is uh, what the Army and the Air Force call it. And of course the John Wayne is what the Marine Corps calls it. And the reason behind that is the, uh, the P-38 was named after an aircraft, P-38 Lightning, and about that time. And then the reason that the Marine Corps and the Navy called it the John Wayne is a lot of people believe that John Wayne did a, a training film on these. Uh, I've never seen the training film. I don't know the truth behind that. Another theory is it's called a P-38 because it takes 38 times to go around the can to uh, open up a standard Sea Rat. Sea Rat is the forerunner of, of course, the MRE, and we had them when I was in the Sea Rat, the A Rat, the B Rat. But uh, a Sea Rat can has a certain dimension. I, I don't have any Sea Rats with me, but I do have a government can that meets that spec, and I'm going to show you about what the width of that is and see if... Uh, Boy, there's a lot of bugs out here today in the wild. Anyway, stick with me. This is going to get pretty interesting. Okay, let me uh, let me see if I can do this now. So here's the standard can, and uh, I'm going to try to open it up with the old uh, with the old P38. And the big thing here is to get it hooked underneath this lip. If, it, if the can has a lip, you can use a P38 on it. So let's see what we can do. And that just slices around like butter. It's just a swinging motion. If an old guy like me can do this with arthritis, you can certainly do this. I mean, it just takes that lid right off of there like it's nobody's business. Nice little snap there, and we'll be careful getting that out of there. How many times have I done? How many times have I cut myself doing this, huh? Can lids in general, not safe. Anyway, you saw how quick that went. Uh, getting a can lid off with one of these is pretty cool. It beats carrying a full a full size can opener, and uh, you just can't go wrong. Now the bigger versions, this is known as the Australian version or the P-51, and it has what looks like a little spoon on the end, but what the Aussies did was they just made a little thing for your pinky to make it just a little bit quicker and a little bit easier. If you open up bigger cans, this is kind of nice to have, but there's nothing wrong with a little P-38 throwing one in your survival kit. Um, they definitely get the job done, and they they sure is, they're, they're a hell of a lot easier to carry than a full-size can opener. So that's what they are. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make breakfast and uh, film some of that. I'll probably speed it up, but i uh, give you a little secret recipe for, uh, for roast beef hash. I like cans of roast beef hash because it's meat and potatoes. You really can't go wrong. It smells a little like dog food uh, when it's raw. You can eat it raw, but it's always best to fry it up. So I'm going to fry a little up and uh, have a little breakfast out here in the wild. So stick around. This uh, will get pretty good, and you'll learn uh, a little, uh, little roast beef hash recipe that I came up with. Okay, so here's my secret ingredient with this. It's the crushed red peppers that they give you at the pizza place. And those things are pretty good. They pack pretty easy. And best of all, they're free. I like to put a good dose of red pepper right in there into the roast beef hash. And uh, that makes a big difference. It makes it taste pretty darn good. Also doubles as a nice oven mitt when you want to handle your stuff here without burning yourself, which I have been known to do. You give that a good little stir around, mix it in pretty good. A little bit here, 
we're going to have us some good old fashioned roast beef hash cooked out in the wild. Should, uh, should turn out pretty good. Okay, let's get around this here. The pan is good, no stick. It's working out pretty well. That is one hot pan. Let's get this turned off. We got us a good outdoor meal we're going to get to eat in here pretty soon. So that'll be a good time. Set that up there, relax. Get those rolled up pretty good. Get back here and we'll try our, try our roast beef hash. See how it is. Now that was definitely worth it. And I kind of got to owe it all to that P38 can opener. If I didn't have that, I'd have to use my knife. Nothing would destroy a knife quicker than opening up a can with it. And believe me, that's a good measure of way to get cut. For those of us who have had to open cans with our knives, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So that's the P38. And that was an email I got from a kid named Frank in Florida. He wanted to know what one is and how to use it. And now you know. So until the next time I see you, this is Bill mm. with Chaconi Outdoor Recreation. Stay safe, stay warm, keep yourself free. Mm. Ah, hang on, good.